and that kind of thing. So now we've got this nice kind of blurred out effect. There are lovely. There are different um, different types of, uh, of of stamp tools. Like we've got this one over here. This is the patch tool, the band aid tool, as I like to call it, spot healing. Um, patch tool right down here is kind of nice because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's better for for uh, doing like simple stuff. So right now you've got uh, sometimes it defaults at the you can patch the source at a destination. When I want to patch the source, what happens is say I take a chunk of image here and say this is the area that I want to fill in with a different subject. So all I got to do is go into this little spot and see notice my cursor turns white in there. So it turns white, so I'm going to go in and wherever I move my selection, you know, so my selection at number 1 it keeps the keeps the original shape that I actually drew, okay? And then when I move this around, it it's going to snag whatever image uh falls into my into my target selection. And if I was to release the mouse, it's going to do its best to blend in whatever image that I that I targeted into the into the area that I selected originally. So you know it does an all right job. So sometimes it works and sometimes. Okay, so we got that covered. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are going to actually go in here and now we're going to turn on our layer one. And this layer one, I'm just gonna call this. I'll just call it flowers. Okay, so there's we've got the flowers layer. We have the cutout layer, and you see now that I've blended everything together, it starts to kind of take on this this nice kind of blurry background. And I mean, we could go a step further. I could actually go in here, and and you don't have to. It all totally depends on what you want to do. I could duplicate this guy. Nope, oh, fudge. I could duplicate this guy and I could go in here and I could blur can Gaussian blur just to make it nice and fuzzy yeah, this is interesting I could do that and for example I could have it like so so now I've got things in the background that are fuzzy and now I've got this nice crisp clear um, image that um, that is is going to be the the focal point of this particular repeating pattern. So everything else will be fuzzy, and these guys won't be. I can go in here and with my cutout copy, I could add a layer mask to this guy. <coughs> everything revolves around layer masks in my world. Um, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to throw on a big brush, and I'm just going to go in, and maybe I'm just going to kind of blur this stuff out, bring bring this stuff back in. So now we've got a nice kind of fuzzy kind of fuzzy glow and feel to this just it's just fuzzy and nice and kind of chilled out um, so now maybe this could be my repeating pattern so uh, what I've done is I've kind of gone out of my way to to kind of clean up and blurify um, and blurify this uh, this image so it totally depends on on how you want to uh, uh, to apply in, in your pattern itself so maybe that's what I want. That's kind of cool. It's looking good. And all I want to do, I just want to make sure you know the blur settings are, are relatively equal, just on on each edge. So if you're gonna blur it in here, kind of blur it right over here because this edge and that edge will will butt up against each other when you're making the pattern. So once we have all this done, okay, and don't forget to save your layered work. This is rather important. So save it. Um, and then what you want to do is you're just going to flatten everything out. And I'm just going to get rid of the background because I don't want that there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to merge everything down, merge it all together. Okay. Now we've got all this this flattened into one one image. Now I'm going to go over here to File. I'm sorry, Edit, and Define Pattern. So when I click on Define Pattern, it's going to say, Hey, what do you want to name it? You can name it whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as this because it's a nice description. Um, so I'm going to go OK. So now, for an example, I'm going to make a new file, and I'm just going to make it um, a nice high resolution to to give you guys an example of what it's going to look like. So then I go over here. So this is my my new f file. It's eight and a half by eleven. It's uh, 300 pixels per inch. So then I go into fill, edit fill. Um, find a pattern. I got lots of patterns in here. Click on it. Go OK. And there you go. 
there's your pattern and you'll see you may have to do it once or twice and I kinda messed up here but it was on purpose to show you guys exactly what not to do um, this guy right across here notice how, how there's a sharp edge here and that was because when I blurred everything out I did not uh, match the the blur on each of the top and bottom so then you get this hard edge running through now if you're just doing it in Photoshop I guess you know you could cheat and run through and blur all this stuff together but if you're making a, a a pattern in you know to be used in flash or or you know in basic HTML it's just gonna pull that that one image that one little square we made um, so you have to kind of get it right and experiment and I mean honestly chances are that that it's not gonna be perfect the first time so you know for example there's my there's my pattern and you're gonna say well dude that's kinda gross what can I do with that well you know you can mess with it um, for example you could turn it into I don't know maybe a floor I don't know who in their right mind would want a uh, a carpet like this but you know it, it could happen and then you put it in the sky and, and that kind of stuff and let's just play a little bit and for example I'm gonna put in let's just make this black and then we're gonna add a gradient layer Make sure everything's correct. There you go. Scariness. So uh, I mean, it does have have real world op applications. So there's my there's my ugly carpet into darkness. Um, I'm gonna sell that. It's gonna make me some money. No, it won't because it's really ugly. But it's a good example of uh, patterns and that kind of stuff. So there you go, guys. Stay tuned for more.